Hi there, I'm Alex from the Southern Ukulele Store and I'm back once again this week with another version of Off The Peg. Off The Peg is the YouTube and social media video series where we take three instruments that may or may not have an underlying theme and we talk about them and then we play them and at the end, in the comments section, you vote on your favourite. So this week we're going to look at one of my favourite ukulele brands which is Kanalea. I have three absolutely stunning Hawaiian made Kanalea ukuleles for you. Just briefly, Kanalea are one of the big four Hawaiian K brands. You have Kanalea, Kamaka, Koaloha and Kulau. Uh, of which Kanalea are probably the more um, modern styled brand. They're a family run business. Uh, Joe and Kristen Souza started the company just over 20 years ago. And as times progressed, the three sons uh, of the family have got on board and just recently the sons were heavily involved in the design of some of the custom shop models and the platinum model, which we are going to talk about today. The first ukulele we're going to look at today, though, is something just down at the slightly more affordable end, which is the special edition SUS T Deluxe. Okay, now the Kanalea SUS model was first introduced at the tail end of 2018. It's a ukulele we designed in collaboration with Kanalea to provide an alternative to customers that perhaps already had a Koa ukulele. Some, they wanted something high-end, something with really high, high attention to detail, but not necessarily of the traditional wood combinations. And after some batting back and forth over a couple of years, Kanalea managed to source some fantastic Alaskan rainbow cedar, and paired it with mahogany back and sides for a nice traditional back and sides with a slightly more piercing, slightly more boisterous sounding top wood. So the SUST model has been very popular for us and we decided at NAM this year that we would try and change things up a bit. So this very special deluxe model, for not a great deal more than the standard SUST model, features a Koa rosette and front binding. The SUST has a mahogany neck with Kanalea's Grover style open back tuners on the back. We kept some of the favourite features we had with other Kanalea models on this. So this has the sand headstock inlay and the sand dots. You still have a pin bridge with ebony bridge pins. And all the SUST models and SUS models in general have the True R uh, modern Kanalea bracing pattern. So this one has a coil of strings out of the factory. I own one of these ukuleles and highly recommend uh, if you are ever interested in trying these to check out our other SUST videos where we've tried this ukulele with different strings on. In the meantime though, in the interest of fairness, this is the SUST Deluxe and we're going to give it a play now. Okay, and the second ukulele we're going to look at today is another new model from Kanalea. This is the Kanalea P1 Pineapple Tenor. Some of you may remember that last year, Kanalea's Platinum model was the company's first tenor pineapple ukulele. In fact, their first pineapple ukulele. The pineapple shapes had a bit of a comeback in recent years. It's a traditional Hawaiian ukulele shape that I think... To summarise somebody who's never felt or played one, it gives the body a bit more depth, a bit more bass and a slightly warmer, rounder sound. And normally 
and certainly traditionally you've seen the pineapple shape on the much smaller body types so to put that another way you would see a lot of people play soprano pineapple ukuleles because the pineapple shape gave more of a concert sound so when the soprano was more popular than it is now where the concert has taken over you might have seen quite a few people use a soprano pineapple just to give themselves a bit more depth and maybe a bit more of the kind of warmer uh, sound and the warmer end of things. The P1 tenor is fantastic because so many of you last year told me that they loved the platinum pineapple tenor from Canalea but they could just never justify spending that much on a ukulele. I think Canalea had received similar feedback from customers all around the world because the P1 tenor is just a tiny bit more expensive than a Canalea K1. It's right down there at the affordable end of Hawaiian made ukuleles. So this instrument has a solid koa top, back and sides. This is the deluxe koa model. You can also get a standard koa model and we've had premium ones already as well. You have the mahogany neck with the ebony fingerboard and bridge. And what Canalea have done is they've kept the shell, uh, the white mother of pearl dots on the fingerboard and on the side dots. But you have the special Canalea pineapple logo that was previously exclusive to the Canalea 2019 Platinum. You have those gold Canalea Grover style tuners. And for those of you not familiar with Canalea tenors, you get a 38 mil nut. And this has the True Art newer bracing. I'd love to know what you think in the comment section after you hear it. In the meantime, this is the Canalea P1 Pineapple. Okay, and the last ukulele we're going to look at today, you will all recognise, I hope, from the NAM 2020 videos. This is the Canalea 2020 Platinum. And I don't know where to start when describing this ukulele to you. Should we talk first of all about the wood? So this is Master Grade Koa. For anybody that wants to know what Master Grade Koa looks like, it's just the most complex looking wood grain. It looks like it can tell you a story before you even play it. And I think the master grade koa alone would be enough on this ukulele, but there are so many other features I need to tell you about. I'm probably going to miss one or two, and if I do, please do check out in the description of this video, there is a link to our interview with Joe Souza, who designed this along with his sons. In the meantime though, this has the offset sound hole, which was done after a trial and error period where Joe Souza put the sound hole in different places until he found the right place. He then tuned the instrument by changing where the bracing would be put. So this was something that was researched over months and months and months. And if that's not enough, you also get the little side sound port. So if you are the player of this instrument, you will benefit from the sound of this instrument as much as the next person. And Pete Howlett pointed out to me uh, just after we showed off this instrument at the NAM show that surely the side sound hole uh, won't actually be effective because the sound hole is already placed to best suit the player. But that's uh, not the case at all with this. If you cover up the sound hole, what you get is a very conventional sounding ukulele. It's actually the twin sound holes that make this instrument really project back at you when you play it hence why i'm going to get a right-handed person to play it uh, for the demo of this instrument rather than myself this has curly maple binding on the top and back with an ebony armrest for comfort you also have the family tree which is explained in detail in canalea's own video but canalea wanted to make a 
an inlay that best described their family and the future generations of Canalea and they did a fantastic job with this I mean it's so intricate and my words and trust me I've tried and deleted takes my words don't do this justice so you will have to check this out in the Canalea interview we did you have an ebony fingerboard and bridge with a mahogany neck and just for this instrument only Canalea have included a very traditional script headstock logo on their very very super slim Cobra headstock with the stealth tuners yeah the color is where it's at though I mean if you just look at the little touches on this instrument you wouldn't see this in any other video but if you just look at how they join those back uh, they the bottom of the instrument there that's just such a delicate touch and that's what you're paying the premium money for every single centimeter of this instrument has been well designed it's a super tenor size as well but I actually forget that because there are so many features on this instrument that you can forget that it also has a slightly wider lower bow which produces a completely unique sound in itself uh, I only hope I've done it justice this is the last ukulele of the day today this is the Canalea 2020 Platinum I'm gonna get Phil to give it a play for you now <laughs> 